Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will tell you about the notification problem in the MI A1 that cannot be able to remove from the standard features that is given in the MI. For example, running in the background apps and the SIM one is SD capable notification. If it tries to remove, it gives in the snooze for an hour or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And for that, we will go for a proper uh, solution. And we need to install the application called. Uh, actually i have in my history uh, let me uh, take it out library that is the auto notification application you can see the icon you can easily identify just click on the install and once it get installed you just need to open this app and just you can give uh, the normal access to your device you can choose deny or allow i am going for deny you can skip the ad over here uh, you just need to look for the notification blocking options that is available here in the standalone features and then one warning will be asked so as to give this permission to this application notification intercept just click on this and put it allow and then back to the application skip the ad and now you have to click on the plus icon and you have to go it for system and you can see the android system green in color on the first icon click on it and now you just need to type running in background and just you have to put it on the ok button ok and you can see the background notification for the background running app has been hidden now we will choose for this HD capable notification you have to just need to do the same thing and you have to go for org dot code Aurora dot IMS you have to check it clearly because there are three icons with the same name you have to go for dot IMS in the last I am choosing the third one and just you have to write it here in the capital letters of HD if you write in a small it might get not work and just you need to put it ok and as soon as I have clicked on ok you can see the SD option has been disabled in the notifications you can see that it has been gone and it will be permanently disabled after the restart of the device so I hope many of the users problem will be get fixed after this thank you for watching